I speak, the rain turned inward. I have a larger version of this upstairs. And um, there was a man, a friend of mine, whose father had died, and a friend, a woman friend of him, came over, and she wept with him while he was mourning. And he said that that process of the two of them, his friend and he weeping together, was so soothing and healed him. So I thought I would make an image of this, of a, a woman licking a man's tears, sort of the way a mother dog would lick her puppy's tears. Of course, I should tell you that, again, this is another photo shoot experience where I said, oh, sir, sit down here, close your eyes, and the woman's name is Cher, and I had put this you know, mixture on his, t on his face. I said, so would you come here? They didn't know each other at all. Would you come here and lift this off his face? Okay, just hold it right there. Okay, just hold it. Okay, great, we got it. So I think that's had an effect on my, you know, just doing performance. Um, this says is a bronze painted white. It is a lonesome glee. And you'll see this language is also upstairs. In this case, this guy, um, he has projectile tears. I was teaching eight-year-olds eight year once, and this poor little boy, he just said, I just don't want to draw. And he just sprouted these tears. Have you ever seen children just sprout tears? Like, I said, oh, honey, it's OK. It's OK. I know what you feel like. So, um, <laughs> so this was for that. Oh, OK, now hang on. The next three images um, have some nudity in them. So if anyone <laughs> wants to leave, or shut your eyes, or shut the eyes of the person next to you. <laughs> I'll give you a moment. No? OK, ready? All right, only three. There we go. Um, this is not me. Hunger and, but it, I made the artwork. Hunger, it's hunger and desire. It's a five-foot photograph. Um, and I really like the bottom half of the female figure. I think it's really, really beautiful. So she lay down on this house upstate. We put, I don't mean to give it away, but we had a black skirt. We put it over her head. And you know, these photo shoots have you know, six or seven people. And her name is Jen. And I, she had the most beautiful pubic hair. We just told her that she should just try as much as possible to run around with the bottom half of her body showing. So hey, this is a sort of homage to women, these last two photographs. So, um, and then this one, I thought, well, you know, it's so easy to do female sexuality because all we women have to do is just stand there, you know, or like lie there, and there we are, all ready to be adored. And, um, and you know, the object of undying lust. So I thought, well, I really should do men as an equal opportunity you know, artist, and I also like men. I've been married to two of them, and and Kurt, and I like them a lot. So, um, this, so I was so dumb. I thought, well, you know, I'll just find someone to get an erection. I'll take a photograph, and you know, my interns and assistants said, yeah, I'll do, it, I'll do, it. and then they said, but you know, we might need some magazines or something, and I, and it dawned on me like, oh. OK, so what we did, this guy, Ed, who, his girlfriend was behind the camera. Um, Ed actually um, was, in, at this time, he was in a PhD program in Harvard. I told him he could use this for the covers of his dissertation <laughs> <laughs> on Asian studies. Um, <laughs> you know, so what we had to do, and you know, I was raised in Maine, and my family was very conservative, and I never thought that I would be kneeling in the leaves in the woods with mosquitoes with a little slender black ribbon in my hand, tying it around Ed's penis, which I was because, you know, and so we tied it the appropriate, mm. and then my husband, whose name is actually also Ed, was off camera. You can kind of see it, because I, you know, again, it was pre-digital, I couldn't erase it but you can kind of see the black ribbon. So Susanna and I, we were like yelling at my Ed, going, higher, 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 because you know you didn't want kind of downturn there. So we were at higher, higher. And then I thought it was so interesting that I would, so it's called double erection in the woods. Thank you very much. So, um,